I have multiple ERISA disability insurance policies. Should I file my claims all at the same time? That's a fantastic question, and there's no uniform answer because each policy or plan is different. There are different notice requirements, there's different proof requirements, with different definitions of disability, different definitions of occupation, and different policy limitations. The better approach is to get out all of your disability policies or plans, read them cover to cover, and outline the terms of each uh, policy or plan. Now, you might be surprised to learn that the policy terms or plan terms contradict each other, that one policy can reduce your benefits by what you get from the other policy. One disability policy may say that there's a three-month waiting period, known as an elimination period, before you get benefits, while another says it's six months. I've seen them as long as a year. In this case, you've got to understand you know, what it is you have in each one of these policies and do so as quickly as possible. Uh, as possible. Once you understand the terms of each policy or plan, then you need to understand what it is you have to prove to get your benefits. And that starts with getting your medical records. You should read those medical records cover to cover. So you know, one, what's in the medical records, two, whether or not your doctor supports your claim, and three, whether or not you may have to postpone that date of disability because there's no medical support. So generally, I think it's wise for you to consult with an experienced ERISA disability attorney such as myself who can do the analysis of each policy, do an analysis of your medical records, and create a winning strategy for getting your disability benefits. That might include the timing of filing a claim, the nature of the claim, uh, and the, the necessary medical and financial records that will support the date that you're uh, claiming. That's particularly true if you have a residual disability benefit in any of these policies or plans. So don't give the carrier a reason to deny your benefits because it's hard to fix these mistakes after the fact. Do it right the first time, 727-894-3188. I can help you make sure it's done right, done timely, and that you get the disability benefits you deserve.